It's still Poet the Poet. We're still in Westbury's own Long Island Coffee House. And now it's time for Adventure in Poetry with Kenneth Churchill. Hi, Rob. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Guitar there. That's our band today. Uh, it's kind of strange. Uh, let's see, a uh, graduate of Suffolk Community College, among other places, uh, began a uh, in-depth study of homelessness from the inside or the outside, since oh, they are outside, yeah. in 1980, wrote a book, American Homeless Land Model, is it? Yes. Uh -huh. It's a book to Congress. Uh huh. And uh, what did, con did Congress appreciate the dedication? Well, they didn't get it yet. I just finished the book. It'll be printed uh, within a couple of weeks, and I'm uh -huh. going to give 535 copies to Congress. Mm hmm. Well, I'm sure that I'm sure that when they see it, they'll appreciate the dedication. Yeah, Unless it's you. Congress, you want to make homeless. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a thought. Uh, hey, they took a peek. It wouldn't hurt. Right. I lived uh, six months homeless in a car to. Uh, in participant observation in order to know what I needed, I, what I felt I needed to write about. It wasn't the Winnebago, was it? No, no, it was like a, um, like a Chevy uh, estate wagon. All right, wagon. all right, we don't have to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, was this the car you did stock car driving with? No, I, I, I did retire from stock car driving. I was a figure eight driver at Islip and uh, Riverhead Raceway. and um, mm -hmm. I, I, I had to retire young, but uh, right. I raced quite a few years. I was on Wide World of Sports for a while. And uh, Kenneth does radio and television and live readings. Let's see, you stopped smoking after 32 uh, fragrant years. Yeah. Um, I understand you started six months before you were born. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I smoked for 32 years and I, and I, and I gave them up. And uh, if I can stop after 32 years, I believe anybody is capable of doing it. You know? Let's see. Something I found out late. All right, single, passionate, and available. Available. It, it says here. Available. Ah, uh, that number again is one nine hundred. He lives in Patchogue. Five five five, whatever. Okay. Uh, why don't we get right into a little poetry? Then? All right. Uh, by the way, who's this? This is Johnny D. Bartolo. He's uh -huh. a guitarist from our band, The Sun. It's kind of Churchill and the Sun. Well, and welcome uh, anyway, Johnny. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do some poetry. Okay. Greetings to Billy Capozzi in the band. Their footprints have been in the sand. The sun follows them like a dove. Welcome to the sun. Blissfully forward in motion, hearts without sails. Onward marching fool's opinion fixed like well-driven nails. He will never change forever, passing days are just delays. Because of laziness, the building decays. Blissfully unknowing, a fool walks along the way. He does not know, he doesn't know if it's night or if it's day. All the days of his vain life, blissfully thinking he's cool. Known by his many words, he shows everyone he's a fool. He will never get smart in the grave where he is going. Fools never collect what the others are showing. Watching the wind, he missed the simple part never heard. When one rises up at the sound of a bird. Sing song of fools, the truth will never be revealed. Even the king himself is served from the field. get smart in the grave where she is going. Fools never collect what the others are showing. Watch a 
Even when they miss the simple part, never heard. When one rises up at the sound of a bird. Sing song of fools, the truth will never be revealed. Even the queen herself is served from the field. Ideas off the walls of his brain. Ideas went bouncing. Outside to the world of France, his hate went pouncing. Through the mass of the middle class, which tried to scare him. Death by the wages of sin began to dare him. Between hell and heaven, he spent his days invincible. A tragic sense of life to be its primary principle. Romantics replaced by alchemy of word when fighting. The last word was first, the first word was last when writing. Love with its hate. Hate with its love reaction. This duel of his life could be its main attraction. Time, wealth, and space, it seems can't erase, erase him. The voice on the page, with all its rage, replace him. The world as it spins, his words are still exciting. The last word was first, the first word was last when writing. End of poem. Good thing you told me. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pistol, isn't he? <laughs> I take a lot of ginseng, Robert. Ah, okay. Maybe we'll do some gin singing a little later. I notice that uh, you laminate your poems here. And, yeah. uh, uh, how do you edit them once they're laminated? <laughs> Great difficulty. Ah, you must have a very special pencil for that sort of thing. I have thing. a trusted typesetter in uh, uh -huh. have you Town. Have you ever written a poem uh, while you were driving a stock car in the middle of a race? <laughs> I never thought about it. Actually, that's kind of reassuring now that I think about it. What I cursed a lot. You know. <laughs> well, we all do. I mean, I do that on the Long Island Expressway. As a matter of fact, I did it coming out this here this morning. This is true. This is true. That sort of thing. Uh, what is this Brazil Child Foundation for the Homeless you've got listed here? Right. It, it began with a poem I wrote called Brazil Child. Uh, I wrote it 30 days after the massacre of five Brazilian children in Rio de Janeiro. Uh -huh. It was a massacre at the Candelaria Church. It made yeah. papers all over the world. But then the journalistic act went away, but it inspired my poem Brazil Child. From it, uh, Johnny wrote a song, which we tried to uh, mass produce, but we were unable to do it uh, for world distribution. But from that, the idea of a foundation uh, was established, and I've been working on that from that point until now. And uh, I, I plan to, and uh, so I, I plan to be. It's most mostly a condition of author advocacy for the homeless people. Uh huh. All right. Um, earlier, I was I was mentioning the the, the infamous Churchill tartan uh -huh. that you were uh, you were wearing, and I was wondering what was the history of that. This is a, a, a shirt that I got on a street sale in front of Steins in Sable, uh, five bucks. <laughs> Pretty good. It's Indian Madras, mm -hmm. you know, and if you pay careful attention to, your, to the washing instructions, it'll last a lifetime. And you also do a little kickboxing, and what is this, Wining Chung Kung Fu? Wing Chung oh, Kung Fu. sorry about that. That's and it. Johnny's brother is uh, my master, and that's how I met Johnny. It's, it's a handwriting. Right. These are the official Kung Fu shoes, are they not? Just <laughs> lift, lift that leg a minute. Sure, give him a little sample there. There, there we go. go. Okay, how about uh, another poem? Sure. Oasis? Oasis.
over to Crack City. The thieves blame the whores. The whores blame the thieves. Swim into the lake. Fly up into the sky. <laughs> Die on the sidewalks and roads. Killed by the Freudian gods. Schmuck millionaire sluts and backstabbing windowsill pigeon killers are the same. Better swim into the lake. Better fly up into the sky. Better die on the sidewalks and roads. Killed by the Freudian gods. Love is useful. Cops catch the spirit in thieves with mercy. Earth was a place to be shared. When a hungry lion walks past a deer and stars light up the right of way. Your voice is the one you have. What you look like is what you look like. You can donate your body to science, but you can't give them your soul. They would like your soul. Mm. Kenneth Churchill and the Sun. Yeah. yeah. One. One. <laughs> uh, we, we gathered that. Uh, uh, thank you, Kenneth. I First wanna, member of the Sun. I, uh, I want to get back to Judith for a moment. She had a little poem she kept bugging about there, <laughs> bugging me about during the break. So let's get it in quickly. Oh, it's a shorty. Yeah. We are embarrassed to talk sure. about the great mystery and spiritual transformation and thoughts of godedness make us uncomfortable. Therefore, today the mystic path is subsumed under the rubric stress management. Ah, I think I could use a little, bit, <laughs> little of that myself a little later. And so we come to the end of another one. So thanks to Kenneth Churchill and Judith Morley for being on Poet the Poet. And we'll, thanks to um, Long Island Coffee House for letting us in, and we'll be seeing you at some point in the future. So, looking forward to it. Bye-bye.